As you guys are meditating, keeping watch, you see the luminous wispy form of a female elf float through the wall before you. Its face reads in the tangle of, of gossamer hair, its body clad in spectral rags that flutter around it. The apparition's face becomes a mask of rage as it screams, Get out of my house! Hey guys, it's Mia here, and welcome back to episode 14 of the Dungeons & Dragons podcast video. Last time on Dungeons & Dragons, we saw our heroes be too late to stop the dragon's attack on Phandalin. Having gotten there too late to stop the attack, our heroes are left to pick up the pieces and keep track of all the survivors there. They make a plan to clean out a stronghold to be able to send the people to safety. Some of the villagers didn't want to go, and some were okay with it. So we find our heroes heading to the stronghold to start to clear it out for the town that has been shattered and broken. What will happen next? Let's get into this and find out. and they climbed up and shimmied down the chimneys to reach into Axe Home. They decided to take two different chimneys, and starting with Scarlet, you have found a room with wrecked cots, chairs, tables, and other fur furnishings. Well then, can I go through the door? I want to get my short swords out too, just in case. And you find a large chamber that extends over the outer gauntlet of the main entrance. Former uh, defensive measures, Arrow slits to the north aloe allow outside light to enter, filling the northern half of the room with sunlight or moonlight depending on the time of day. Time of day is one in the afternoon. You find yourself in a massive chamber. Thick webs are strung between the walls and pillars. Oh god. As you walk through the door, you are attacked by several giant spiders. So, Midnight and Clarion, as you guys come down the chimney, and survey the room and find the shield, you hear a scuttling outside the door. Uh, Bartholomew, it is your turn. Okay, well, I just want to fly towards the spider in the top left corner. I want to hit it with my... Well, let's go sword. Well, I'm not going to move because I'm not trying to get smacked. All right, and the next up is going to be... You said there was a shield in the room? First things first, I hope Josh's character up. Yeah, there are other furnishings, cots, tables, chairs, and empty foot lockers are all intact but covered in dust. I'm gonna go take the shield. The they'll fully peek out that doorway. You're able to open the door sneakily, and you see Tiger go across the room. I look back at Josh's character. Okay, we got we got a problem. <laughs> it is now Shadow's turn. All right, so I walk out. I walk out of the room to towards. The Famerlu and uh, Scarlet. Uh, I I move five feet towards the red spider and I activate my spell Color Spray. You were able to create a cone of magic dust. You were able to successfully blind the the red one. The black one. It kind of shakes off the color spray and is in his is he looks like he might go over towards you. Uh, I move one square back and I say, Scarlet, help me. Gotcha. It is now Scarlet's turn. Well, using both of my short swords, I'm going to attack the brown one close to Bartholomew. 13 damage in total. You go in and you go slap slash, and the spider's like, hey. you want to move anywhere? Mm -mm. Spiders. This one turns to Bartholomew bite attack, so it's going to do seven damage to you from the bite, only does two poison damage to you. And then this little guy is going to go in for a bite towards Scarlet. It rolled a nine to hit. Nope. This red one is kind of spinning around in circles because it can't see that. This one is going to move 30 feet. It's going to bite up Shadow. It was a 9 to hit. Some armor class is Cool, so it didn't hit this white one. So it's going to go 30. So the white one is right there. And then these guys are going to come towards the commotion. So all the spiders are coming to your position. It is oh, now Clarion's turn. I would like to search the room for anything in of interest. You just find a lot of dust everywhere. I'll look through the door to see if there are any spiders. You stealthily open the door and you see that there are no spiders in this area that you can see. Lovely. 
very stealthily move forward into the next room. You see that there are open arrow slits, so you can shoot arrows out of these. Daylight is pouring in from them. You notice that there are a lot of spider webs. You hear scuttling, and you hear a spider screeching just around the corner. I'm gonna pass my turn since there's nothing else for me to do. Bartholomew and Midnight, which one of you wants to go first? Can I just have my character follow Larian? And it is now Bartholomew's turn. Part of my action is going to be reckless. Frenzy is the bonus action, and Rage is still active. We take Great Sword. All right, you. How do you want to do this? I'm gonna grab it by the pincers, my big bird meaty claws. Uh -huh. I grab it by the pincers with one hand. I open its mouth with my, my foot. I just want to stab the sword down its throat. Wiggle it around, sawn in half. Right, and it is now Shadow's turn. I'll shoot magic missile at the white, orange, and red. So you go to attack. You you take your hand out. And you kind of point it like Emperor Palpatine, and three magic missiles shoot out of your fingertips. Pew, pew, pew. And you hit the three different spiders. The orange one, who's kind of back, has turned to you and is kind of confused, just gets hit, and it's just scuttled right back around where it got hit, and is just confused because it can't see right now. Scarlet, it is your turn. I just wanted to look around me on the ceiling or anything to see if there's something heavy enough to drop down and crush him. You see that the ceiling is 15 feet high and flat, the walls are covered with thick webs. Okay, well that doesn't help me, so I'm just gonna go for the one in front of me again with okay. my two weapon fighting. How do you want to do this? I'm gonna cut off its right, head we're... and then chop it off its legs. The spider is dead. Can I make it to the white one? Yeah, I can make it to that one. I'm gonna go with my short sword again. You swing and you just barely miss and now the white spider locks eyes with you, all eight of his eyes. I just cut your friend in half. And it is now the spider's turn. Spider Uno, the black one directly in front of Angel. He's going to attack with his bite. It tend to hit. I didn't beat. The white one is then going to uh, attack Mia. It's going to do four piercing damage, uh, five poison damage. This spider is going to crawl up the wall and then attack Angel with its webs. You are now covered in webs and you are now restrained. And then this one is going to scuttle on the wall. The, the orange one is going to scuttle above the white one, and it is going to shoot its webs at Scarlet. So now you are restrained. And then these two are just going to move closer, because that's all those guys can do right now. I'm pretty sure by now we've probably heard the fight, right? Uh, you are definitely hearing some fighting going on. I'm going to start heading towards this. Now you have found the blue one. Okay, I'm going to do my own arm strike. Okay, very close. Fuck, you missed all my shots. The blue one is now focused on you. Fuck me. Clarion, it is your turn. We're gonna stealthily go to the stealthily. right, actually. We'll explore that way. While you're there, you can see the group of spiders that they were all fighting. Spiders do not notice you. You find staircases leading down. As like you explore the room more, you have found pillars. Is there anything I can discern that is such as a possible hidden trap, hidden passageway, or anything hidden? You don't notice any hidden passageways. Uh, awesome, and I end my turn. All right, cool beans. It is now. Um, and that black one right in front of me. Reckless. We're going to use. We're going to keep using the sword. Fifteen damage. It does not kill. Then I would like to use a frenzy. How do you want to do this? All right, I want to <laughs> jump off both of the front two legs, and then I want to use those and stab it in its butt. <laughs> I just want to step on its face. So now it is Shadow's turn. Shadow, in order to not be restrained, you have to make, to make a strength check. I got 18. You were able to break free from the webbing. Stand my ground, I guess. And with that, it is now Scarlet's turn. You are also restrained. It's a 14. So with that, you break free of the webbing. Um, I use Scarlet. my two weapon fighting to attack the white one again. And eight. You're hitting the white one. It screeches at you. It's mad. And it is now the spider's turn. This red one is going to web up a Bartholomew. Bartholomew, you are now restrained by webs. The black one next to Shadow is going to go in for the bite. So it is going to do seven piercing damage to you, Shadow. Six poison damage. The blue one, who now has uh, Midnight's affixed it is going to try to go in for a bite so it is going to do nine piercing damage two poison damage the orange one is going to try to web up mia again mia is now restrained again to the webs 
And because she's restrained, the white one is going to go for her and bite into her. 14 piercing damage, 10 poison damage. I'm at three hit points. <laughs> and now it is Clarion's turn. You need to move all the way over to the farthest pillar right uh, directly north of me. I'm going to cast Ray of Frost at the blue and red one, copying it using a sorcery point for the twin spell. So they are getting full damage and are slowed. Six each. Now it is... Bartholomew's turn. Bartholomew, you are currently restrained. You will have to use your action to become unrestrained. Uh, I do that, but yeah. You break out of the webs. So you, I can still use Frenzy. Move me. Uh, the, the white one. one. Let me smack the fuck. So damage on the white one. It is bloodied. Uh. You you took it and you sliced out two of its eyes. It is up, steady, spaghetti. Midnight, it is your turn. I'm going to attack its spear because fuck my fist. So you did 10 damage to it. It is bloodied. I have my PD points to do bonus action. I can still do my fury blows. Six in your hitting the blue one. It is even more bloody now. You kicked it in the face. One of its pinches broke off, but it is managed. Shadow, it is your turn. I pull out my rapier and my wolf dagger. I use my rapier to stab the black one that's right next to me. Ten? Okay. And I use the wolf dagger and I throw it at the white one. How do you want to do this? I throw, I throw the wolf dagger straight into its head. That spider's good. Scarlet's turn. I'm tied up, so I gotta strength my way out. And then I want to use my bonus action to do the second wind. So I have 13 hit points now. Can I give my action surge to give me one additional action? Then I'm gonna go for the blue one with my short sword. Give me four damage. It is now the spider's turn. The spiders are now in full defensive mode because they realize they are outnumbered. The black I... one is gonna hit Shadow and is gonna try to web him up. So now Shadow is webbed up. <laughs> you are now restrained. The red one is gonna go for Bartholomew. So Bartholomew is now restrained. The blue one is going Your to shoot web at midnight. Hold me for long. It tries it tries to get you and it does not work out. You're the orange one guy. tries to web up Scarlet. It rolled a ten. Nope. Bartholomew and Shadow are restrained in webs, and Midnight and Scarlet are not. It is Clarion's turn. Let's go ahead and just hit Magic Missile. Two of the bolts of the blue one and one of the bolts of the red one. That's the first How bolt. How do you want to do this? Bolt ties it just severs the spider in the two pieces. It goes right through it and severs it. And for the red one, we have five. It is bloodied. Now it is Bartholomew's turn. Break out of these chains. You have now escaped the restraint. Let me rush the red one. And I would like to use the attack. Because we're going with that axe. How do you uh, want to do this? And I want to jump menacingly in the air. I want to Thor Stormbreaker this and just throw oh, okay. it out. And uh, it just dies. It is now Midnight's turn. If I toss my shield at Bartholomew, take the shield. I'm slightly bent, grabbing my axe what? with one hand. I just stick my arm out. The shield just slides perfectly <laughs> into my arm. Now, because I have two points, I'm going to use... I'm still going to attack twice, so... Oh, okay. Same. Okay. Never mind. I just stand there and do nothing. Both of my punches. Let's go. Shadow, it is now your turn. You are restrained. You broke out of the webs. There is a black spider still staring at you. I look at it and give it a 10-minute look. The spider does not understand what you're doing. I move 10 feet back. Because you moved, the spider has attack of opportunity against you. It's going to go in for the bite. So that's going to do 7 piercing damage to you. You only take 7 poison damage. It is now Scarlet's turn. I'm going to go for the one right in front of me, the pink fleshy one. It's 6 damage in total. It is still bloody, but it is alive. They'll get opportunity of attack for me and I don't have the health for it. I'll just stay where I am. Then it is the spider's turn. Uh, the uh, black spider is realizing it is kind of fucked. So it's going to scuttle to these slits. These slits are actually what go into the to the lower levels that pour on top of people. So it's trying to get to those slits to escape. It did pass Bartholomew, us. but Bartholomew yeah. gets opportunity of attack. Uh, we get the hammer out, so might as well keep using that. Yeah, it's dead. The orange one is going to go, because right now it's at level with you, it's going to scuttle up. Oh, <clears> as it's running away, can I grab feet. the back of its legs and just slowly drag it towards me, making it thinks it has a chance to break out, but it doesn't. And then once I pull it, I want to step on its back and just, like the little sack part, slowly squeeze my feet and just ooze out all of its guts and chop its head off. Just all kicking him. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just want to kick him after it's already dead. But the room is now quiet. Can I loot some of the bodies and then short rest? I you're, want to take their no, yeah, poison. Um, you were able to extract all of the poison in how, how many vials do you have? I used them to collect the potions from Adabras, but I have a water skin I can dump out and put it in. 
Here, let me drink it first. Okay, okay. let me drink. Let's drink. Hey, uh, guys, can Martha I- and Midnight just go back and forth drinking. You collected the poison successfully in your water skin, so don't drink out of that anymore. Bartholomew, what, do you, what would you like to do? I want to go to the gate. I want to find the front door. Where you are, you, you guys know there are two staircases that you can go down. Can we short rest before we move on? Because I'm at 13 hit points. Alright, then yeah, we can short rest. I don't care. Real quick, can I get my dagger from the white spider? They were chill with just sitting here for eight hours and letting me get a full rest. Sure. Man, that guy, yeah, I agree. I agree. I guess me and Scarlet will keep watch first for the first four hours. Yep. And then I guess well, midnight actually, and shadow. Two hours into your rest, you hear. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh oh. You hear something coming up the stairs. Sorry, do you hear that? Bartholomew wakes up and stands up because Midnight woke me up. Yeah, I no. did hear that. Can I roll to put on a potion or no? Alright, drink your health potion. Who else is doing health potion? Me. One. Did you do it already? Yep. Gain 10 health. As you drink your potions, you see creatures turn the corner. You see these. These dwarven kind of warriors, but oh, their wait. skin is gray, and you see a long tongue come out of one of them. I have my ring. I have my ring. What does that do us? It controls the dead. I tried to ask them what they want. Taylor's the only one who can hear them, and says, and he, she hears in her head, destroy intruders. Okay, no. guys, they uh, <laughs> think we're intruders. I try to convince them that we're not true. Destroy. We're not, we're not gonna destroy invaders. I have to try to say we're or not invaders. We're not invaders. Not we're not from a rival country. <laughs> Tell them what we're trying to protect them from a dragon attack and the people of a different town. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try to tell them we're here to help. We're here to help to protect the place. Bartholomew, it is your turn. I want to no. stand in front of the green thing. So if I stand in front of him, I block the other guy right behind him from coming up. We're now blocking the path and you see this disgusting creature. I'm going to reckless my first hit and let's get down to business. Rage. Frenzy rage. It's, all... it's big, so we're going to grab the axe. It does 30 damage? How do you want to do this? As I'm flying over the bodies, I'm going to fly into a knee slide and I'm going to come through with my axe and I'm going to chop its leg clean off, jump up, do like a 360, take my axe after I chop off its leg. I want to swing through and chop off the right arm because I chopped off its left leg, so I'm chopping its right arm off. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to take the point of my axe and just stab it through its neck and I'm going to kick it down. You kick it down, the pieces are now on the entrance of the staircase. It is now Scarlet's turn. Scarlet or Clarion, depending on what you guys want to do. Scarlet. Oh, thank you. Okay, Scarlet, okay. do you want to go first? Sure. I go start making my way to the other two. I take out my longbow. He has not made it around the corner yet, so you aren't able to, to get him. I'm just going to ready my bow, and then Clarion, it's up to you. Clarion, it's now your turn. I will ready magic missile on the first thing that comes through the other stairway. Now it is Shadow's turn. I pull out my short bow, and I walk towards the open. I see one around the corner. The second I see one, I'll be ready to shoot. Next and is I, the creatures. All right, so this creature, A, and you can see another one come up from behind it. The second one is going to come and bite at you. Uh, a 10 to hit? Nope. Does not hit. And can't really do anything to get you out of the way. At least you over here He's have not come out of the staircase. Up. And they're about to come at you. They're about to get fucked up, though. Does that trigger my ready action? So you're going to ready action at the first one. It is an eight. And then your magic missile, so all three of them are hitting that, that zombie. The same one that got hit with the arrow, correct? That guy is bloodied for sure. It is now Midnight's turn. So I can see the one directly behind me. I will just full send it on this fucker. I'll attack with the spear first. Four damage? And then obviously I'm going to do flurry of blows. All right, it is bloodied for sure. Wait, since uh, I have going the back. ring, can I try to not, well, technically intimidate, try to tell him to leave us alone? Destroy! But, okay. I don't think they have any brains. Well, at least I threw him back, so he has to like, come at me a bit. I, like, move back with the with the group, so I'm closer to them. Bartholomew, it is now your turn. Oh! Go smack this motherfucker, right? <laughs> he is bloodied. Okay, then we're going to do Frenzy. How do you want to do this? I'm going to take my sword axe, I'm going to chop off his left arm, I'm going to grab his head, make sure he's still standing up straight, I'm mm -hmm. going to chop off his right arm, grab his head again, with both of my claws, I'm just going to squeeze until it breaks, I'm just going to rip the body apart and put away. 
that if that one were to come up to me, can I fly out of its reach? I don't want to do that. You are 15 feet near, and then it is Scarlet or Clarion's turn. Clarion, you want Scarlet, to go first? Scarlet, you go first. Oh, okay. I guess longbow again, and I'm going to go for the one that is square-headed looking. I move all the way past the second pillar, so I have a straight shot. How do you want to do this? I just want to stick it right in his neck so he's gurgling on his bone blood. Clarion, it is your turn. All three magic missiles at that one. It does hit, and he's still standing. We're going to go ahead and consume a sorcery point to cast Ray of Frost. All right, seven damage. Still not dead. Now it is Shadow's turn. I move three squares forward. You're almost about to turn the corner where you would be able to turn around and go down the stairwell. Uh, what about the one across the map that's on the bottom? I'll shoot it since I already have the bow ready. You said seven? So close. The but creature's turn. Right? Senor numero uno is going to attack Clarion you... with his claws. He actually did not even get to reach you. Lovely. <laughs> Then the last one, he's going to crawl through the uh, difficult terrain of his dead brethren and go underneath Bartholomew and then try to attack uh, Shadow with his bite attack. That's going to do five piercing damage to Shadow. Midnight, it is your turn. All right, first things first. The one that is closest to me, I'm going in. And I'm just going to okay. throw a haymaker. How do you want to do this? Just uppercut. The right to the face okay. so make his head fly off. Gone he <clears> is. <throat> Um, and there's one zombie left, so I will let all of you. How do you want to do this? Can we do another kick party, guys? Let's just all gang up on it. And just another. Yeah, let's, <laughs> yeah, let's just kick them. Yeah, yeah, let's just go party. kick them. All of us are going to circle That's around. That's what we're going to do. We're going to fucking kick them. Just shit out of okay. Him. All right, cool. <laughs> okay, the shit out of him. He is dead. And one again, a good. silence befalls the room. Can I go pick up my arrows, please? And I want to move well, them. I want to move over into the top right corner over there. Before I'll fly to the ground. I want to go to sleep. All right. Go to sleep. Don't interrupt me. Okay. Okay. I'm going to loot the body. Right. You guys loot the bodies. And you all find 25 gold pieces for each of you. As you guys are meditating, keeping watch, you see the luminous, wispy form of a female elf float through the wall before you. Its face reads in the tangle of, of gossamer hair, its body clad in spectral rags that flutter around it. The apparition's face becomes a mask of rage as it screams, Get out of my house! My turn? Uh, yeah, it is now your turn. Talk to her? Because she's light, isn't she? I want to talk to her. Well, honestly, we don't mean you any harm. We actually are trying to clear this out to save a bunch of other people's lives. We're trying to protect a town from the dragon attacks. Get out of my house! There has to be some way that we could use this. Like, what if we clean it up for you? She just keeps screaming at you. Stick it out! Get out! It's not too, uh, ghosts can't be reasoned with if they're stuck here because of a reason. Is there a way we can unstick her? Like, find her find, find oh, bones or something and burn them? Ask her to show us the front door. What if we help you move on? She's, she's just not having it. She's just... She's about ready to scream at you. I have no weapons that can affect a ghost. I'm gonna go guard Bartholomew. Okay, you move in front of him. Clarin, it is your turn. I am going to cast Mirror in. And then I'm going to walk two paces down. And someone be prepared to grab Bartholomew. And then I look to the ghost and, and be like, Well, show us the door then. I'm poking it. It is now the creature's turn. She is gonna let out a scream. Horrifying, okay. screeching. It just, it, it, you, you want to just immediately cover your ears. Anyone within a 30 meter radius can hear her. The only one out of the radius is Midnight. And I'll go down the list of the people who are affected. So Scarlet, you are going to take 10 psychic damage. Clarion, you will now only take eight psychic damage. And then Bartholomew, you're gonna take 14 psychic damage. Angel, you take 15 psychic damage. So now it is Shadow's turn. Do magic missiles. You fire the magic missiles and it goes pa pa pa. But she's still standing and she looks directly at you. Now oh, fuck. Um, it is now Midnight's turn. Throw holy water at it. You oh. are not able to determine what kind of creature it is. You can't determine if it's undead or fiend. All you know is that this is some kind of dark creature. I'm gonna move in ten feet. Throw it, then move ten feet back. You threw the holy water and it missed, splashing it's against not... the wall. Well, anyway, there's holy water right there, guys. Fuck, I shouldn't have just not thrown it at all. Well, it is your turn, Bartholomew. Could I fly over there 
Mm -hmm. drag my blade across the holy water, and then slash for extra damage? You do, like, a spin around Mia, launch yourself forward in the, in the air, your wings are spread, you take your sword and you slide it against the wall, sparks are flying, and your sword dips into the tiny puddle of holy water. So I can use Reckless? Do I risk it? Risk it for the biscuit? Risk it for the biscuit. Alright. We're gonna do that. Okay, we're gonna roll with Reckless then. Cause, uh, we're gonna... I was told to risk it for the biscuit, and uh, Reckless loves his biscuit. Eleven. And then because of the holy water, because this thing is resistant to non-magical attacks, so I will let you keep the full damage because it's coated in holy water for this turn. Scarlet, it is your turn. All right, so I'm going to equip my holy symbol. Then I'm going to take my holy water, pour it over the holy symbol, and stab it with it. So it's just a four. Is there anything else that you want to do, Scarlet? Two weapon fighting. Oh, it's going to actually do three. Clayton, it is now your turn. I'm going to cast an Empowered Sleep upon it now that it took some damage, so hopefully it'll be weak enough to be affected by it. Secondly, we're all going to retreat as soon as the sleep takes effect, if it takes effect, and then we're going to heal up, and then once we're out of range, I'm just going to throw some fireballs at it. Why don't we just what kill is it? This? So I'm going to cast it where she's on the mm -hmm. outside barrier. So only okay. she's affected. You cast the spell, you create its range, and you see her kind of like, her eyes kind of drift a little bit, and she and she's kind of floats down, but then she shoots back awake. What? And looks directly at you. Do we have a plan B? Yeah. Run. Well, no, our magic user just used the last of magic. It's the creature's turn. Yeah. She's going to use horrifying visage. So yes. Bartholomew is not frightened by this image. Fuck Scarlet. Yeah. 18. Three, you were four. not frightened. Shadow. 10. You are scared <laughs> to the bone. Your knees yes, are clicking together. Oh. You're shaking. Oh, Fuck, 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 what's going on? <laughs> um, and then Midnight. <laughs> Look at Clarion, he Where really is, is a pussy. Eight. Midnight is scared, Clarion. I bro. got a 13. He is not frightened. Shadow and Midnight? Yeah, she has turned herself into a very scary image. You're scared shitless. Guys, why is my mother right there? Shadow, it's your turn. Is that how you're gonna spend it? I'm supposed to be dead. I'm sorry. I cast Magic Missile, and I just... I aimed right at her. I'm sorry, mom. You can tell that she's in pain. She's not happy. And she looks at you and you like with the death glare. I'm sorry. Glare. I'm, sorry um, I'm sorry. You're supposed to be dead, mom. I'm sorry. Midnight, it is your turn. In fear, my stuff. character is going to stumble back one one, one space. Bro, thing. fucking fight it. I'm Use frightened. your fear. I, I see them as somebody that I remember who was just as terrifying. And in, and I pull out my bow and I try to shoot at her. You shoot your arrow and she sees, you know, and she's already locked eyes with you. She sees you do it and no motion whatsoever to register that it ever hit. It just goes right through her and bounces off the wall. It is now Bartholomew's turn. We're just gonna try to hit it. Eight damage. Yes. She, you swipe at her. She looks like she got hit by something, even though you didn't feel any resistance of it going through. I Stop got it, your 20. Turn. Well, I'm just Purple fucking sword yeah. to it, I guess. It does seven damage. She looks terrified at what you just did. Since she looks terrified of me, can I, like, try to get her to surrender? Because she hits hard. She looks at you and she's just, she's like, Get out of my house! It is now Clarion's turn. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and use my light crossbow. It's gonna do two damage. She looks directly at Bartholomew and touches him. Oh no. You are hit with five necrotic damage. Cool. And she's going to back into the wall and run away. You do not know where she is. Oh. Uh, Everyone drink your health potions now. My character is going to go attempt to tr enter a trance in that, in that far back corner. I tried that and look what happened. Well, let's try it again. Does anybody have so, rope left? Who has rope left? Yo. I, me. Okay. I have rope. Could I take the rope? Back up to the chute and Rest everybody climb the... out. We go outside, take a nap, and go back in. Uh, yes. I hand him my 50 feet of rope. Bartholomew, here's my rope then. Okay, so I want to go back to the right side and <laughs> take the rope and fly through the chute. So Wait, well, back in. why don't we just barricade the door? No. Uh, <laughs> did you just, just see her go through a wall? Good one, Clarion. Good one. Good <laughs> one, <laughs> yeah. And you're supposed to have all the brains. Shut the fuck up, I have a nine intelligence! Grrr. I'm a dumbass! <laughs> <laughs> you make it over to the chimneys and- Nah, Bartholomew, because you're exhausted. 
You make it through the shoot. You get up there. Scarlet, give me that athletics check. 19. You made it. Shadow, give me an <laughs> athletics check. 17. You made it. Midnight, roll me an athletics check. 10. You just barely made it. Oh, yes. Clarion, roll an athletics check. You made it. 11. I'm going to say that you guys just make it all the way down. You guys, you guys go down and you make camp. Something yeah. tells me Let's a lot of them can't survive this, out of it. Off to the side, kind of hidden behind some bushes. You guys all do that. Bartholomew is now going and getting some much needed rest. The elves are meditating or taking a nap, however they fucking want to do it. <laughs> you guys wake up. Everyone has full health, their slots. Nick, you're still level one exhaustion. <laughs> the moon is a slight crescent as it comes above the sky. It is a very starry night. It is dark around you. It is around... So, you see the dark silhouette of Axholm in front of you. Okay, so climb what would back you... up and in. Yes, we're gonna, do this. we're gonna do the same maneuver. We climb up in through the chimney and down into the down into the yep, chimney, but yep, all yep. is one. We're all gonna choose the same chimney. Yes. Before we dive down, Bartholomew looks back, takes one last look. Dives in. As my character goes down the starts to go down, my character looks back towards the moon and says, Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> it just falls. Whee! You guys shimmy your way down. You're now back into Axe Home. Scarlet. I wanna go. Where are you gonna go? Down the stairs closest to us. Shadow said yes to go in with Scarlet. Is anybody else going with Scarlet? Midnight's gonna stay with Bartholomew and Clarion. Yes. All right, you guys go downstairs. This area contains seven ballistas pointed at arrow slits, a winch, and a stone staircase, which you just came down. Each ballista is equipped with five bolts. Can I investigate nope. to see if there's anything else in the room? You do all the work. I'm just here to watch it. Where back. is Scarlet? Any idea if this if the gates open? You notice a tattered ba banner with claw marks on the bottom of it that has the same symbol as found on the, on the shield that Midnight was using earlier. Can I take it? I want to go through the door then. Before you go through the door, we are going to give a turn over to Clarion. I'd like to see if there's anything in the cauldrons in the room. You find that the cauldrons are empty. You you can tell that the cauldrons used to hold oil at one point. You can see through the slits on the floor and kind of relative position of where you're at. If you were here when the dwarves this. had occupied this, they would have poured hot oil down those oh. slots and on top of you in front of the portacolas down the stairs. You can see that the arrow slits behind you and you can peek into a room a little bit over. You see this great hall. It's a 40 foot high ceiling supported by four thick stone pillars. You see a thick layer of dust covers the flagstone floor. You can see that in the middle of each wall Past the entrance is a double door. We're not in the balcony, but you see down in that room, 15 of those dwarven monsters you fought earlier. Oh, oh my god. god. They don't realize that you're looking at them because you're looking at them through these arrow slits. We could take this in, this chance to and throw some fireballs at them. It's a good thing I came with you, buddy. Bartholomew! Uh, I need you to come over here now, but quietly. What? I don't want to go over there. No, look through the, through, look through the arrow slit. Oh, head over there. I don't know, but, do you, but hey, I'm thinking about uh, Midnight using her arrows with the gems to s start firing some of the fireballs yeah, yeah, through there. Yeah, cool. Um, I'm going to try the other stairs, see if I can get over there. Okay, we're going to weaken them from here. Good idea. Okay, Midnight, you're going to prep two uh, arrows, one each. One arrow each has two gems on it, and you're going to fire one on the left side and one on the right side of the room. Oh, gems? Okay. Two gems think that would, the safer route would be to kill them all at once. Okay, okay. I'll I'll do it. Okay. Oh wait, are we am I going to prep two arrows and give you one and then uh we'll, sure. I give him one or two, sorry, my bad. Mm -hmm. Off my necklace and then I take the other two and tie them onto an arrow and we shoot them in there at the same time. As you guys let your arrows fly, the arrows make impact and you hear a massive boom. The whole room is encased in fire. The whole stronghold shakes as the, the flame clears and you see all the dead bodies around the room. You see a figure rise up from the oh, floor. Shit. You recognize this as the creature you fought earlier. Hey, that bitch is still alive! Do you have anything you want to throw through there? I got a dagger. 
been before. It is now Midnight's turn. Can I shoot an arrow at her? So that's gonna do three damage. It is now the Banshee's turn. All right, like Bartholomew, do first for 10 psychic damage. Midnight, you're next. You will also be given 10 psychic damage. Okay. Clarion, 13 psychic damage. It is now Clarion's turn. We're gonna go five paces to the right, putting me behind Bartholomew, and then we're gonna cast Magic Missile. 16. And that was magic, so that was full damage. And Shadow's turn. As you tried to approach the door, you heard a loud explosion, and then soon after that explosion, you heard a very faint scream. Uh, you heard that? You think yeah, I heard trouble? that. The van, she's probably back. We gotta get up and help them. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, let's go. Let's hurry up. Now, you guys have made it up. You see the chaos of them all fighting the Banshee. Shadow is in your way. Bonus action dash, then. Yeah, I'm gonna run straight towards her, and I'm gonna magic missile. 14. Cool. Scarlet, it is now your turn. I'm going to go up the stairs, and I'm gonna take out my longbow and fire at the bitch. Eight for damage. And then I take out my short swords and attack her with one of those. That's gonna be two. And it is now Bartholomew's turn. Dragon Slayer longsword. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna whip that out. I don't wanna charge it. How do you wanna do this? could use me as a launch pad to launch yourself towards the Banshee, since I'm right behind you. I take one look back at Clarence, and I slowly reach for the dragon sword on my back, and nod. I nod back. Slowly unsheath the, the dragon sword. I spread my wings as far as they'll let me slightly, and I go, and I jump, and he uses- My character casts oh, Ray of Frost, taking his hands from, from the ground up, <laughs> whipping up a, a storm of wind towards Bartholomew. him. Bartholomew! Takes the wind up the ass and through the wings and launches as fast as he can towards the banshee. And with one swift, quiet slice, he stands at the other end of the room, holding a pose, and her body slowly disintegrates into nothing. The stronghold goes quiet. I'm gonna elect myself to go down the left stairs. I'm following. I guess I'll go with the only place we have it for you. Okay, so it seems like the whole group is. Shadow? Yeah, we're sitting together as a group. I drink a potion, come so I'm at 14. So you come downstairs, and this, chair looks very, this looks very similar. Um, it has the same areas as the other area that you were in. There are seven ballistas pointed at arrow slits, a winch that does something, and a stone staircase leading up to the area that you just came from. Each ballista is equipped with five bolts. Investigation check for that. Bartholomew looks out through one of the ballistas and sees the porticolis as well as the uh, the big front doors. So Shadow and Scarlet, I'm assuming that area on the other side of the, the porticolis was where you guys were at when you went down the first set of stairs. Probably. Uh, so you saying? It. So you saying we head back there? We can open the gate. Well, it looks like from what we can see on the other side is that uh, the porticolis has a two leave lever system, meaning two people will have to open it at the same time. So, Which... like, so yes. Oh, we split yeah. up two people go one, one right way, here. two people go the other. Uh, to open it. Well, beings and I'm probably the fastest. Uh, I'll catch you over there. Scarlet's gonna go with you because you've never been, so Scarlet's gonna take you. All three of you work together and start, you know, cranking the wench, and as you do, you can hear the gears in the wood turning and creaking, and you see the porticolis slowly rise through the arrow slits. And it gets to a point where you can't pull it up anymore, and so locks itself in place. Now, now we what? Should, I say we go through that door uh, right behind Bartholomew and Scarlet, uh, group together again, and see about entering that big giant room that we just dealt with. Yeah, we sure. can loot the body. Okay. I mean, we need so to... we can clean it up. <laughs> yes, but we also need to make sure we cleared out the place for the village. All right, so Shadow's going to lead you guys over. Uh, We're all together well, now. Since there's nothing in these rooms to really loot or take care of except the ballistas, but I think we should leave them in place for defense. Uh, let's see about going through that door. Mm -hmm. I was going to do that earlier, but I heard the commotion and came to help you guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> we needed it. As you come through the door, the floor is strewn with bits of armor and the gnawed bones of dwarves who were killed and eaten by the creatures that you fought. Because the if, they're cre if they're just eating them, they wouldn't find any interest in the valuable items they have. Yeah, I'd like to loot. I will say, you guys don't find a lot. You maybe find like 50 gold pieces you can split between the five of you. So tell um, But everything is like rusty armor, rusty weapons. Everybody There's really nothing of real value here. Uh, you are presented with a door. Everybody take one door. Okay, yeah, let's all take the door and like be through Uh, do you think that's sure. a smart idea? Because we almost got our asses candid to us. Each room well, we're not we engaging into. anything. We're just looking through the door. Yeah, Whatever door I'm going through, I'm barging right in. No questions asked. 
Wait, what? We're gonna start off with Shadow. Slowly open it. What do you see are empty stone weapon racks, wooden mannequins upon which armor once hung, and iron hooks in the walls that once bore shields. Guys, I found shit. <laughs> I found shit for that. I can see Follow that. Me. I'm gonna fucking You're kick next. the fucking door down like a fucking G and scream. Tell him you, you find dozens of meager cots lie scattered about the floor. A pair of fireplaces stand cold and dark, their rubble choked chimneys rising 120 feet through the mountain. Can I shimmy my way up the chimney? You make it all the way up there and you find that there is a giant boulder stuck on top at, at the entrance. Oh, so you can't even... uh, you're oh. able to push the boulder, it rolls down the mountain, and you come out and you see you see the rest of the uh, of Axholm. I mean, you see the part where you guys came in, it looks smaller from where, you're stand from where you are currently perched. You can see Thandalin off in the distance. You look toward the mountain toes gold mine, where you sense our friend frog and you see a very familiar white masts fly from that direction into the mountain yep. yeah, i'm gonna just dive back down i guess you come back and then what do you tell your friends not a damn thing I'll wait till oh. we're done here so the next is mia how do you want to open your door i just open it <laughs> with some titties Right. Starts to take like, top off. Oh. No, just kidding. No. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no one said it was this kind of party. Wait, are you actually doing it? No! no. Oh, I was damn, kidding. She probably just stop, start taking off the little clothes that she already has on. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like midnight just tries to cover everybody's eyes. <laughs> it's like, like running back and forth. No, you can't. Stop, stop looking, stop looking, stop looking. <laughs> Tattered wool curtains could seal three neglected privies, each with a wooden bench set against the back wall. Shirtless in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I guess you took your shirt off for a reason, then. I uh, guess we'll take your shirt off. Aaron, it is now your turn. Yes, I would also like to stealthily open up the door. Standing before two blackened hearts are a pair of rusty anvils. A fluttering noise can be heard coming from the southernmost fireplace look at it and see if yeah. I can discern what, what the deal is. A giant, basically mosquito monster just flew out of the fucking thing and is coming at you, dude. <laughs> Told you should've kicked the door down. Uh, <laughs> can I react in some way? I think he's in trouble. Got uh, I gave it away. The screeching or the screeching? Uh, it's I'm trying to find so it's gonna do five piercing damage to you while it is attached to you. Well, I wanna he's run in there and see what the fuck's going on. And try he's to still smack it, about I guess. This. All right, you run in. It is it is latched on to him right now. Okay, I want to try and cut the nose off. Okay, get it off, right? Shut up, Clarion, I'm coming. Hey, I got your name right. How do you want to do this? So I'm gonna rush in. I'm gonna grab it by its head. I'm gonna cut the stinger off. Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just hold it in the air for a second. I mean, what the fuck did you find? I don't know. It just attacked me out of the fireplace and it's sucking my blood. <laughs> you didn't provoke it. No, I just, I heard a fluttering and I tried to look at it now and it attacked me and I got a thing stuck in my ass. Oh, here, let me grab it. Now we're gonna pull it out of his that's, arm and then, yeah, I just want to sit there and stab that's it. That's probably not the first time you ever said that. I just want to sit there and go, <laughs> right in its face. And all of you guys hear this from the other room. Get out of me! All you guys hear is, because I'm still just sitting there stabbing it until it's dead. <laughs> and you wow. just, you hear, ah! You're clearing crying. Clarion, are you okay? As, I think. As you guys are interacting with each other and having a great time, you guys have finally cleared the dungeon. You guys have already accomplished the mission, and you guys are going to search through it, so I'm just going to run you through and give you the treasure. You guys deserve it. And it's going to take you guys about two hours to get through the whole stronghold. It is now uh, very early in the morning. Um, the sun still hasn't come up, up yet. You are now able to actually have a long full rest. As you fall asleep, this is where we're going to call this session for tonight. Thank you.